What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Grant. I'm a local realtor in the Tampa Bay area and today we're going to be talking about a super important question that a lot of new agents ask and that is how much uh, can you actually make if you went in real estate as a real estate agent part time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you and break down all my numbers from my first year where I went the entire year part time. I had a full-time job um, 40 hours a week and then from there I would also do real estate or be an agent on the side initially I think it was kind of 50 50 but we're gonna break down how much I was actually to make so you can kind of get a uh, realistic expectation of how much you could probably make let's get right into it always here you know you want to have at least six months of income saved up right because even if you start getting deals initially or properties under contract um, it still may be a while before you can actually get your first paycheck so for me I actually got licensed January 1st in the scenario that we're talking about in my first part-time year I was licensed completely officially January 1st, but I did not get my first paycheck until April 20th. So it took me four months and 20 days to get my first paycheck. And that was a paycheck of $2,680. That was my first paycheck of the year. My next deal came from cold call from I was cold calling around open houses in which I was hosting for other real estate agents. I know that's a lot, but I was several prospecting around another agent's open house to invite them to the open house and see if there's anything in the world I could do for them. Also, I was handing out flyers, and by doing all that, I ended up talking with someone on the phone who decided to eventually meet with me down the road, which it was like two months later in this scenario from when I actually talked to them to where I actually got to meet them and list the home. But that right there, that came my second deal, which was a home listed for $193,000, and I was able to earn $3,800 off of that once it sold. But that did not close until June 30th. So now we're seven months into the business, part-time this is with me working full-time 40 hours a week and my schedule was when I did work uh, full-time at my past job it was from 4 to midnight Monday through Friday so some could say that's a good schedule some would say that's a bad schedule for trying to be a real estate agent part-time but we were able to make it work right we had weekends available and we were able to get it done then my next transaction came September 30th and that right there, that was a very low price transaction because I was just representing not the buyer and seller, but as a transaction broker, I ended up just writing the paperwork up for the buyer and seller to get them under contract and get it sold. This was a for sale by owner and they ended up going with one of the programs that I provide and I made 500 bucks off of it. Not including the commission split I had to pay to my brokerage at that time. So my walk away with that was like $330 for that right there. And just a reminder, these numbers that I'm talking about, this is all after my split. This is actual in my pocket. Then my next transaction ended up coming from a for sale by owner. I ended up calling them, we met, and they ended up signing the listing agreement. And that day we got their home listed within the week and it ended up selling uh, by the weekend. So that right there was awesome. That was a for sale by owner listing that was worth $282,000. That was the value of the home. And then not only were they selling that, they were also buying a home on top of that. They ended up buying a mobile home a few hours away, but I was able to help them with that transaction as well. So from those two transactions, from selling the home, I was able to make $4,935, so it's almost $5,000 after commission splits. And then once I helped them buy the home, which happened officially on the 29th and the 28th of October. So we're getting way later into the year and I didn't really make much um, up until now. And we're starting to see an increase in you know, closings and increase in value as well. And that just comes with uh, learning a lot more down the line. So, but I was able to make the 5,000 through the listing and then 1,800 from the buy side with the mobile home I was able to help them buy, which was worth $80,000. 
The next transaction that I was able to close ended up closing November 12th of 2020. And this was actually a new construction deal where I was representing the buyer in this case. And they were actually under contract within the first four to five months of the year. But because it's new construction, it wasn't ready yet. So it took the next four to six months to actually be completed. And so the buyers were able to qualify for financing and move in the home, things like that. So it took me um, from when I actually had them under contract looking at properties, it took me another six months after that to actually get paid. And this was with a $275,000 home in a new construction community or new build community. And I was able to make almost $5,000 off of this transaction after splits. It came out to $4,553 exactly. And then the last transaction of the year for the year I'm speaking of, my first part-time year, it was a $725,000 home. That's what it went under contract at. And that was another for sale by owner. I was able to meet with them. I followed up with them for months. It was probably two and a half months of me following up with them at least once a week to every two weeks sometimes. Um, and just asking, you know, whether they'd be open to meeting to talking about, uh, you know, getting their home on the market. And they had already expired originally. So they worked with another agent, their home ended up expiring, and then they tried for sale by owner for a little bit. And then finally, within the few months, they agreed to meet with me. We were able to list the home and we got it sold within the first few weeks. And that home was worth $725,000. I was able to make about $8,000 off of that transaction. And that was in the month of November 20th. So that was the last transaction of the year. So let's quickly break down everything that I just talked about. As you can see right here, a lot of it ended up happening towards the end of the year. And that's uh, that definitely does make a lot of sense and it's very realistic for most people because you don't know what you don't know, right? You start learning things as you go later in the year. So out of my seven transactions, we can see that six of the seven happen after the halfway mark of the year. So it took me six months to start my transactions going. And out of the in total, these numbers are a little off right here. I'm not sure which commission uh, ended up being wrong out of these, but my total income for my first year part-time while working a full-time job ended up being $26,010. That's not including any expenses to get started or anything like that, which it's not very expensive to get started. People can spend different amounts of money depending on what they wanna do. I definitely did not spend that much money but my total earnings for the year were $26,010 for my first year part-time as a real estate agent. So that was able to, you know, push me to where I'm at today as a full-time real estate agent, you know, able to make over $100,000 a year. Um, but that doing that part-time and being able to see what we could do with the, uh, you know, minimal time that we were putting the effort in uh, for these certain things and also not knowing what we were doing, right? You'll see, I got most of my trans, six of my seven transactions happened after the halfway mark of the first year, right? So again, that comes to, if you do leave your job, you wanna have six months of income saved up because one, you don't know what you don't know. I ended up learning a lot in that time period and I started doing things in which I was or was not doing initially and it obviously translates. It translates into transactions and it's something you learn as you go. You learn what works, you learn what doesn't work and uh, so overall, I was able to, within my first year, have seven total transactions, uh, earning $26,010. So I hope that helps. I'm not sure if that would help you want to become a real estate agent or not. I would definitely suggest it to anybody that's looking to, you know, get out of their current job and, you know, that's kind of not valuing them themselves um, or what they could do, or just wants to work a ton of hours and be able to get paid for it eventually. Um, I would recommend it. I'll make a future video talking about how much I made my first full year in real estate. So make sure you subscribe, stick around, do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up like if you liked it. Um, comment down below what your thoughts are. Comment, let me know how much you made your first part-time year in real estate or how much you made in general. Um, I'd love to hear, we'll talk in the chat and thanks for so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.